Good morning, everybody. So these next couple videos are just gonna take you through the process of designing a propeller from scratch. This is the profile that we're going for. Um, basically to make one, I just, I take a pattern that's close and I add Bondo and I sand and I add Bondo and I sand until I get the look I want. So I worked with the customer on this because he is an excellent craftsman himself and has a very, very good eye for these kinds of things. So basically him and I worked together until we found the profile that um, we were looking for. And I just wanted to take you to, through the process of how we make Good morning, it. everybody. So we're gonna get this cut today. Um, last night when I put it in the lathe, I had a flat spot where it wasn't touching. And now that I look at it, I understand why. Um, so I had to glue another laminate on my blank and so we get to cut it today. So after I get my Bondo perfected, we make this pattern and this was, um, it was a challenge. I, I ran into some problems after I started cutting it. And as you can see, there's a lot of material to take off here. And it was deeper than my saw blade wanted to cut. So after I realized that, I realized that I needed to do um, something different to help take off some of that material really quickly to make this go better. So I <laughs> forgot to plug in my grinder, <laughs> but I tried the little, it's a cut saw wheel that has a bunch of little metal pointy things on it and it takes material off really fast. It's very easy to control. It's a wonderful little tool, but it just was not taking it off as fast as I wanted it to. I wanted to make like some big progress, right? So um, when I saw that that wasn't doing it, I called my dad and I'm like, dad, how do you start this chainsaw? He said, Elena, you are not using that chainsaw at the shop by yourself. And I said, but I have to get this done. And I want it done today and I want it done right now. And He's like, you are not using that chainsaw. So <laughs> I had a little breakdown squalling fit because <laughs> after he told me I couldn't use the chainsaw, I thought I'd try the pole salt, which now that I look at the video, I'm like incredibly embarrassed that I even thought that this was an option. But I was just like so desperate to get this done because I wanted to get this done so freaking bad. So um, after that, I already thought, that I'm like, this is not the most time effective way, but I'm gonna go ahead and I just held the, the saw blade up. So every time it came around, I just, you know, held it up higher than the pattern and let it cut, you know, just maybe an inch or two at a time. And I just stood there like that for the entire pattern. Um, it wasn't time effective, um, but I ask my Instagram friends for some suggestions on way on tools that I could use something that was in between a chainsaw and the little cut saw wheel and I got some really good recommendations so I hope to share those with you guys on the next video when because I will need to use it on the big pattern so they all came in the mail today actually so I'm excited to try them out um I'll probably post that on my Instagram account, you know, my stories throughout the day. Um, it went really well after I got that biggest part on, but you know, th and that's the deal with most of these patterns. They are very difficult to do. They are um, unique. And so that's just kind of the problems you run into. So after I got my pattern finalized, I could use that pattern to make a template and get the original like my what's going to be the real prop glued up so the hub of this prop is four inches thick but it turns out the blade needs to be about five inches thick so a four inch hub thickness is the equivalent of six laminates so six laminates is a big deal my um open life for my glue 
is only about 20 minutes. So to glue up six laminations of a prop this big in 20 minutes means that I needed to have some help. So I got help with my husband, my daughter, and my dad. So we had three generations gluing this prop up, which is pretty cool. And we just, basically I mix glue while they spread glue. And even though I got a head start, I still couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> and then the whole blank was, this is gonna be a 98 inch propeller, but I made it a little bit bigger because I wanted the option to go, like to be able to make a 100 inch propeller in the future. So this was the maximum that our press could hold. Also, the blade width is very big. So the widest point of this blade is eight and three quarter inches wide, but then I always give myself extra for, you know, basically, like I say, I give myself room to screw up. <laughs> so this was also as wide as our press wanted to take also. And we made it out of mahogany, so it was not as heavy, thank goodness. Um, but then we just pin the ends with dowel rods. We just run a dowel rod through the ends to pin it in place. And then it goes straight into the press. And it stayed in the press for 14 hours at about 75 degrees and um, about 90 PSI on that one since it was so many laminations. So after it came out of the, pro out of the press, like I said, I... Um, over did everything so this hub is eight inches wide on the face but it was like nine <laughs> inches wide um, when I glued it up so I had to cut that hub down because um, it is not going to go into the lathe like that and I know I said that the blade is eight and three quarter so what we do though when it goes in on an angle we are able to get more of the blade in there but I am going to have to cut the blade down um to get it into the jaws of the lathe. So this is heavy, it is a heavy prop, very heavy, and I drug it over there by one end. <laughs> but like I had mentioned before, when you are ready to do something and you have that set for the day, that's just what you wanna do. But I was very careful and I lifted everything properly and I know a lot of people are gonna put on here all the comments about get a car, get an overhead pulley system, get all these things, but fact of the matter is like I work out every day so that I can do stuff like this I know it looks heavy it's really not as heavy as I am awkward though I make everything look more awkward than it actually truly is so <laughs> don't think that I, I'm I'm not hurting myself I did not hurt myself I am very careful um but I just I just wanted it done <laughs> so I cut the hub down to the measurements and after I get this done so the next video is going to cover um, getting it in the lathe thanks for watching